To help us look at the discipline of yesteryear, we sent Alan back to his old school. I must warn you that uh, this film contains teachers some viewers may find disturbing. This is St Jude's High School, a secondary specialising in the performing arts and media studies. But back in the 1970s, it was an actual school and I was a pupil here. Today, the corridors of St Jude's are alive with the sound of laughter and play. Back then, however, the school echoed with an altogether different noise. the noise of corporal punishment. Thrashings were the order of the day back then. The only way is to avoid a walloping, keep out of trouble, or get homeschooled like Dominic Bentham. Although I think he ended up killing himself in his 40s. Alas, for those of us schooled in the classroom, the finger of blame didn't always land on the guilty. Partridge, what is that? Bring it here. Stop gawping for crying out loud. Ordinarily, I'd see a boy taking the long walk to the teacher's desk and think, he was being disruptive. Go on, sir, batter him. But on this occasion, that boy was me. What is it? It's a picture of you, sir, with a penis where your nose should be. Is that what you think I look like? It wasn't me, sir. It was Smithy. He's from a broken home. <laughs> Something changed in me that day. I had walked to school a boy. Now sit down, you lemon. But I returned home. A big boy. Fortunately, what the psychotic teachers of the 1970s <laughs> lacked in self-control, they also lacked in technique. Inexperienced teachers would often opt for a one-handed stroke with little backlift and a short follow-through. But swing analysis from my squash coach reveals this to be both ineffective and inaccurate. With little rotation of the hips, the backswing ends here, which means the maximum arc of the swing is shortened, and an unsteady stance means energy dissipates as the swing is completed. But watch what happens with a firmer base and a longer backlift. In this case, the swing stops here. Look at the line from the shoulder all the way down to the knee. The wider stance creates stability so that energy can be transferred from the standing leg all the way to the front knee. And with the hips rotated right round, the striker is like a coiled spring. If we play on, watch now how all of that force is driven down through the arc of the swing, picking up speed, picking up speed, as the front knee bears all the weight and then POW! The striker hits through the target, continuing to rotate the hips until he ends up in a finishing pose that is the mirror image of the back lift. Impressive. Eventually, corporal punishment was subject to a blanket ban, except in emergencies. But the memories remain. Sore heads, swollen knuckles, rosy red bum cheeks. Sounds funny. Don't feel funny. <laughs> <laughs>